Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are discussing about Michelson interferometer. Before I start the video, click the subscription button and then enjoy the video. Michelson interferometer. When I am saying Michelson interferometer, it's an experiment to show the phenomena of interference. Principle Again it is based upon the principle of division of amplitude. Division of amplitude means amplitude of a beam from a source is divided into two parts. One either by reflection or either by refraction. Then these two parts will reunite to produce a interference pattern on the screen. Same as we have discussed in the Newton ring experiment. Now next is the construction. First component is S that is a source of light. Next is L, convex lens. Both S and L will constitute an extended source of light that would give a parallel beam of light. P, P is a semi-silvered glass plate. Question is why it is semi-silvered? Because it would act as reflector as well as as a transmitter. Next component is M1 and M2 two optically flat glass plates. Next is telescope T. Here we have shown another component Q that is named as compensating plate. Initially forget such kind of plate from here. Forget that this plate is present here. In the next video we will discuss why this plate is introduced here in the path of B. For the time being, the complete apparatus is SNL constitute extended source, semi-silvered glass plate P inclined at an angle of 45 degree, then mid an M1 and M2 both are mutually perpendicular to each other, then we have the telescope T for receiving the light and showing the interference pattern. Now that we have discussed were written over here, broad source of light convex lens L so as to make the source extended, optically flat mirror M1 and M2 both are perpendicular to each other, here one mirror is kept movable and other is kept fixed, two optically flat glass plates P and Q, initially assume only P is present, Q we will discuss later on in the next video, telescope T for receiving the light from the mirror M1 and M2. Before I start discussing the working, let's move again on the figure. Observe this figure. Here we have S, extended source of light. S and L both are constituting an extended source of light from where the parallel beam is incident on the glass plate P. Now, from this extended source, a plane wavefront is incident on the semi-silvered glass plate P. Glass plate P is semi-silvered. Semi-silvered meaning it would act as a reflector. The beam would be reflected along the mirror M1. M1 is fully reflecting. It would reflect back the ray and the reflected back ray would tra traverse the same path and enters into the telescope T. Incident beam is shown as red color. Beam reflected by the plate is shown by the orange color ray number 1 towards the mirror M1. It is again reflected back, again shown by the orange color enters into the telescope T. Clear? Now again come to the plate P. Here the red beam is incident on the semi-silvered part. This would be transmitted through the glass plate P because it is semi-silver. It would act as a transmitter as well. The blue color beam, ray number 2, is the refracted beam towards the mirror M2. Now, this ray number 2 is incident on the mirror M2 and is reflected back towards the glass plate P. Observe that. Ray number 1 is reflected towards the mirror M1 and reflected back towards the P. 
रे नंबर टू ब्लू कलर रे रिफ्लेक्टेड टुवर्ड्स द मिरर एम टू एंड इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक टुवर्ड्स द प्लेट पी एट पॉइंट ओ द ब्लू कलर बीम विल बी अगेन रिफ्लेक्टेड बाय द ग्लास प्लेट पी एंड एंटर्स इन टू द टेलीस्कोप टी नाउ बोथ ऑरेंज कलर एंड ब्लू कलर बीम्स आर एंट्रिंग इन टू द टेलीस्कोप In terms of physics language, both reflected ray and refracted ray are entering into the telescope. Now, observe that these two rays, blue and orange, both are produced from a single source S. That means they are coherent. When they enter into the telescope, they will have the tendency to produce the interference pattern because they are from a coherent source. we are observing this interference pattern which is produced by the division of amplitude original beam is divided into two parts and then they will reunite in the telescope to give the interference pattern complete setup is named as michelson interferometer here we have shown that the beam reflected by m1 and m2 will be incident on the glass plate p and then they will enter into the telescope t in the telescope two beams are entering reflected beam 1 and the refracted beam 2 because these two beams have been derived from a single source that means they are coherent when they enter into the telescope they will have the tendency to produce interference pattern clear Now we are coming on the point that what would be the function of compensating plate Q? Why we have introduced this plate Q? Focus on the figure. When the red beam is incident at the point O, it is reflected towards the mirror M1. When it is moving towards mirror M1, it has to pass through the glass plate P. glass plate clear when it is reflected back by m1 it reaches the point o again it has to pass through the glass plate p meaning in the forward and reverse journey it has to pass two times through the glass plate p means it has traversed through glass medium twice clear keep this point in your mind come to the ray, ray number 2 blue color beam starting from the point o it will travel towards the mirror m2 it has not passed through any glass plate q is not present at present now it again come back towards the point o again it has not passed through any glass media because we imagine that q is not present clear meaning when ray 1 is traveling towards the mirror it has passed the glass medium twice blue color beam when it was traveling towards m2 it will totally travel in the area air that means optical path of beam 1 and optical path of beam 2 are not equal distance of M1 and M2 from the glass plate P are equal means paths are equal but what about the optical path optical path is original path multiplied by the refractive index of the medium through which it is passing so we can say the path O M1 is equal to path O M2 when Q is not present but OM1 optical path is not equal to OM2 optical path if the glass plate P is present and Q is not present that's why we have introduced a glass plate Q so that beam 2 has to pass twice through a glass medium to compensate for the part difference of ray number 1 otherwise ray number 1 will be having different optical path and ray number 2 will be having different optical path 
to equate the optical path of ray 1 and ray 2 we have introduced a plate Q because this plate is compensating the part difference that's why it is given the name compensating glass plate. On this slide we have discussed the complete working of glass plate Q. So it was Michelson interferometer. Construction principle, division of amplitude. Construction, we have shown here beam from the extended source of light is incident on the glass plate P. It will be divided into two parts. One reflected ray moving towards mirror M1. Another reflected ray moving towards the mirror M2. M1 and M2 will reflect back the beams and reflected back beams would again reach the glass plate P and after retracing the same path they would enter into the telescope T. Compensating plate is only to compensate the optical path of reflected ray 1 and reflected ray 2. So it was Michelson interferometer in one slide. Thank you. Thanks. So it was Michelson interferometer construction principle and working. In the next video, we will discuss how to calculate the path difference between the beams that are entering into the telescope. Michelson interferometer discussion of interference pattern would be discussed in the next video. For more updates of the upcoming videos, click on the subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you so much.